Okay, this is the uh, Line 6 PU1 testing. So I'm just plugging the battery in and it's on. So now you have to, uh, I have to uh, choose a mode. So it says here, distortion, drive boost. These are not programmed yet, but as you can see, the switches all work. They all correspond to, uh, to values. And uh, I've programmed it so far that uh, the pedals, when you move them, the value appears on the, uh, on the screen. And it stays there until something else happens, some, some other value changes. There is the uh, selection button here. So now I'm looking at the, uh, the lower bank. I press twice. Here. Okay, so this LED shows that this line, a function, will be up. There's also a tuner mode here. And uh, there's, the, uh, there's a special mode that I will use for programming or uh, calibrating the pedals. So pressing these two switches here lights up the decimal point here. And then I will program the interface, but basically it's still the same thing. All controls are uh, live. And also going back to a mode, so this mode here. This is the rotary encoder. It's been installed and it's ready. So if I turn the encoder, you can see that it, uh, it goes up, it goes down. If I turn the other way, stops at, uh, stops at zero and goes up and down, okay? So whatever variable uh, control is activated last is the value that's shown in the, on the display. So if it's a pedal, well, this is the pedal value, okay? Pedal two or the rotary encoder. So it keeps the value, of course. Like, you know, if I go like this and then I turn, turn again, whoop, it's between, between two values. I turn again, you can see that it keeps incrementing. So it was at uh, 38, now it's at uh, 47. So as you can see, I can turn pretty quickly and it still follows. That's it for this test. Everything is ready to be programmed for uh, with the MIDI interface.